Okay, your name? My name is Carolyn Mitchell. Carolyn. And I have Clue Bay Creations. I make jewellery um, right beside Clue Bay. And right. I started in the market about, uh, it was last year, I think it was last July. Last year, yeah. And I make lots of different things. I make um, earrings and pendants from recycled glass. And I'm absolutely crazy about Connemara marble at the moment. So oh, okay. Make, um, this is the Connemara section over here, yeah. This is the Connemara section over here. And um, I'm, I'm really kind of besotted by it. It's, um, I just discovered it last year, it is 700 million years. So <laughs> you can't even get your head around that. It's <laughs> you know, very hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's <coughs> sort of unfathomable. I mean, it's so, especially the... <laughs> The individual pieces, they're so beautiful to work with, like all the colours are different. Um, Is it easy to get it? Oh, it's easy enough if you know the right people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's only running out, running out, and the big pieces are running out anyway. I've heard that, yeah. Yeah, I heard that as well. Yeah, we probably, probably, probably get it. The small pieces. So. Mm. And you go to Connemara to buy it, or you know somebody who brings it in? or? I go down to Connemara quite a lot. Mm. I, um, are there quarries down there? There are. There are a couple of quarries. Still um, active, yeah? Still active. And do they look big? Are they like quarries? They usually look huge, yeah. The I mean, in the shop, yeah, or whatever. But, um, yeah. Yeah. But it's really, it's this really special thing. It's so, and especially, I mean, a lot of visitors really like it because it's so uniquely Irish. Absolutely, yeah. But, um, and how, and people are starting to appreciate it more as well. It sort of went out of fashion for a while. It did. But I think it's sort of, I don't know, I'm trying to do something a bit more modern with it because yeah. it, it's probably... I'd like to say maybe, but maybe some of the stuff that's made with it, some of the jewellery, might be a little bit old-fashioned or something. But years ago, a lot of church stuff altered the letters yeah. you made from Connemara Marble. Yeah, and oh, there's lots of pieces in America that imported a lot that's of right, there's, yeah, yeah. capitals and all sorts of places. Yeah, it went all over the place, but I think they ran yeah. out of it then, yeah. And how did you pick up the, the craft yeah. of making stuff? Well, I started as a hobby, and then about a number of years ago, I just started doing it as a business. Cause mm. I used to be a social worker, so this yeah. is a lot of work. Oh, there's a change. This is a lot of work. <laughs> less stress and less stress in this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But did you actually learn how to twist this stuff and bend it? And suppose yeah. you have to weld it. Do you have to weld anything? Yeah? I don't do any welding. You don't do any welding, yeah. But and you're self taught the whole thing? Self taught. I've done a couple of classes. Self taught, yeah, yeah. You picked them up, yeah, yeah. Mostly self taught. Yeah, you're great stuff here, isn't it? Yeah. Showing me stuff. These are actually little buttons, which you can. And where would you hang them or how the You'd hang them from your ear. Your ear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't look too good on me now, would it? <laughs> well, you never know, yeah, 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 yeah. Clue Bay, Clue Bay Creations, creations you call yourself, yeah. yeah. These are the ones I make from recycled glass. I get scrap mm. glass and cut it and drill holes in it and then tumble it. They come out nice, don't they? I like them. We would never you never think that when you look at a bottle so you can make something out of it. We always think of crushing. Yeah. Crush the bottle. Yeah. So you're happy. I like it's a, it's a lovely market to be in. It's a nice oh, yeah, community. It's great. And, um, what do you think of the box, the boxing background? Well, now I must confess I'm not a fan of boxing. I find it a bit brutal. Like, I don't watch it, but they're very nice to us. Yeah. So I can't complain there. You're a good company on that wall behind you there. Yeah. All the personalities of Westport boxing are up there. Yeah.